about this. What is the difference between a dad and a father as we keep uh, celebrating our dads? Our second uh, topic of the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. As they line that up, be sure to interact with us on White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White254 on Facebook. Never ever forget to tell us where you're watching us from, because that is the only way we can give you guys a shout out. Our second topic of the day. All right. Uh, huh, what are the different kinds of fathers? So we have, uh, we have different kinds of fathers. And uh, as we were setting this up, we had uh, a conversation about how somebody can be a father or a dad, but it doesn't necessarily live with the mother. What do we call this kind of person? Uh, Is present? is providing, is doing all that is required to be done. He even finds time to play with the kid. But things didn't work out between uh, the mom, uh, the, the mother of the child and himself. I think he, he still remains a dad. Mm -hmm. Only that um, when things don't work out, that, mm -hmm. that, that doesn't mean that um, he loses that title. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I can say is that um, th th there is a dichotomy mm -hmm. that comes across between uh, those dads. Mm -hmm. There are those who are responsible dads mm -hmm. or responsible fathers, mm -hmm. and those who are not responsible or irresponsible fathers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if, if one is responsible, then he, he falls under the, the category of or responsible dad. fathers Respon uh -huh. or dads. Or dads. Uh -huh. Yeah, if maybe he doesn't provide for the kids and mm -hmm. the mother, he, he falls under the category of irresponsible, irresponsible. fathers. Irresponsible. Yeah. Uh, Streetwise to know it's a deadbeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you think about these kind of situation? Okay. I think that uh, once it doesn't work out between the parents of the mm -hmm. kids, that's God's plan, mm -hmm. definitely. But once See, the, me. I don't think so. <laughs> but right. once it's just destiny. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. But once the dad sticks around, mm -hmm. he's still performing your pivotal duties mm -hmm. uh, towards the child. Mm -hmm. You. You're just a dad. All right. Yeah. Even legally. You're, you're a dad. <laughs> right. As long as you're in your child's life, uh -huh. and uh, m that means that the the separation didn't separate you from mm -hmm. your child mm -hmm. and uh, from your responsibility towards raising your child, mm -hmm. you'll remain a dad. This is going to be very interesting with him because he has experienced this yeah. personally. So, for me, I think mm -hmm. it was like a mess up between mm -hmm. the, these young couple, like mm -hmm. these, my mother and my dad. Mm -hmm. So things didn't work, mm -hmm. so they separated. Mm -hmm. But my father, mm -hmm. not dad, my father mm -hmm. was working. Mm -hmm. Even he's an engineer at uh, Wilson Airport. Mm -hmm. So things didn't work. But mm -hmm. the mistake was mm -hmm. he was not providing. Mm -hmm. But the other father, mm -hmm. whom mom decided to well, stay with, mm -hmm. start Mm -hmm. giving me everything, mm -hmm. everything and there, there was that attachment there was, that, atta that, you can't there was that attachment even uh -huh. by the time we were being told that this you know this is not your real father mm -hmm. i was being informed when i was in form four mm -hmm. going to do my exam wow. you know this is not your real father your real father is this and this it was uh -huh. difficult for them to convince me uh -huh. this is not my father uh -huh. this is my father because you've been attached to this yeah, we have been so close uh -huh. He loves me, he do mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. we talk as usual, he treat me the same because mm -hmm. I was the first one to the other family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to his family. Mm -hmm. So I was being treated as a far as the firstborn priority, uh -huh. what, what. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know how other families, they think they operate in a firstborn. Uh -huh. So priority. Was, so I was feeling like, this is my father. Mm -hmm. This other one is not my father. But right. even after being introduced, uh -huh. I come to realize this guy is just a wealthy guy doing, but he didn't give me even a single coin up to uh -huh. date. Right. But I can't hold a grudge because I don't know the mystery who, who who what did happened happen, what before happened? you were born and I, I, when I don't, you were still I don't know the kid. story. So right. maybe do you think uh, other kids are as mature as you are to still go back and appreciate uh, the father and still love the dad? There's one one thing. By mm -hmm. the end of the day, mm -hmm. that's also your father. Mm -hmm. You can't run away from that. You can't run away from, from that. that. But the fact that this person is not providing mm -hmm. does not mean that she's not your father. Mm -hmm. You must just accept and live with it. This is my father. You're the attached to him forever. For him, yeah. All right. Which leads to my next topic, uh, or the next aspect of this topic, where we had uh, the late karma fathers. You have a father who uh, he left mom. Mom did all the work and maybe got a new... Uh, 
husband who became your dad and then you became successful uh, like diamond platinums <laughs> and then he wants to come back in your life because you're rich now first put yourself in the shoes of this child would you take uh, such a dad back and would you even wish him happy father's day uh, for my case no for your case never no Never ever. Never, so you don't ever. understand what this guy is talking about. No, no, I don't understand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what about you? Okay, I think uh, with girls, mm. let me let me now say this. Uh -huh. With girls, okay, generally, as human beings, mm -hmm. I think we are social animals. Mm -hmm. Like, we grow up social imitating like whatever we see mm -hmm, what you thought yeah uh -huh. and i think for girls it can be easier to like get back with the dad and mm -hmm. form that connection again mm -hmm. like make it make that connection stronger again compared mm -hmm. to a boy mm -hmm. who has ha understands like uh -huh. yeah who knows how the father treated the mother uh -huh. and how everything went about until mm -hmm. they broke up until he disappeared from his life mm -hmm. yeah so i think um getting back to understand him and talk to him and form that connection will be mm -hmm. hard Why? but for me i think personally i will sit down with him and talk to him because as he said at the end of the day mm -hmm. without him i wouldn't be present without yeah. that guy you need to appreciate the fact that you will never be present yeah. you look like you have something to say yeah because mm -hmm. i'm disagreeing with this young guy uh -huh. because there's so many people mm -hmm. maybe they are born left somewhere mm -hmm, or people thrown, uh, thrown somewhere mm -hmm. so on so they on they never know their biological they parents they know their biological parents mm -hmm. what about them mm -hmm. what are you and trying to portray to them that thing is quite traumatizing yeah, yeah because uh, by the fact that kuna so many people are being born deep in the village even their dad can ev can't even afford even a uh, one nini one diaper mm -hmm. but they are struggling just to be there for them mm -hmm. but the fact that Alikuza, you are there. You, you just appreciate that thing uh -huh. because maybe God is the one who planned for that, for that thing. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we tend to assume mm -hmm. that the person when Alikimbi is the best person. Mm -hmm. Maybe the person when Alikimbi Ali Ali Kuacha, uh -huh. kuna reason why Alienda. Maybe end Ali Kosewa sana sana. And mm -hmm. then you know, you know, my heart is different with yours. Maybe kuna so many people they can forgive, mm -hmm. kuna others they can't forgive. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe the father is directing that nini to mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. which is should not be a directed to me. Mm -hmm. And maybe the mom is the one who wronged the father. Uh -huh. The father, I don't know. So you never know. Uh, yeah, so there's yeah. always the big question. Yeah, behind. Uh, there's always a big, big question. question. It doesn't look convinced. It doesn't <laughs> look like it's convinced. But we'll yeah, maybe, so maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's because I'm not in his shoes. Uh, That's why I'm not uh, uh, capacity to, to, to understand. To understand what it means. All right. Yeah. Let's move on to the next. So we have mothers who are single moms, and. Uh, I saw people appreciate single moms yesterday. Happy Father's Day, because uh, you raised me alone, oh mommy, this and that. Do you think a mom can ever replace a father? Just yeah. by virtue that she's single and she's raising the kids by herself. Yeah, first of all, uh, I think uh, the viewers must understand that um, the genesis of Father's Day came as a result of the Mother's Day. Mm -hmm which started way back in the U.S. Mm -hmm. when we had civil wars. Mm -hmm. You see, we had a lot of mutiny and people died, mm -hmm. so mothers were left alone. Mm -hmm. So in the process, they, they ganged up and said, now let's start celebrating the good work we are doing as women mm -hmm. to raise the children that mm -hmm. uh, their fathers have done what, have died. Mm -hmm. You see, that's, that, that is when um, somebody by the name Sanvaro, Sanvaro Smart mm -hmm. came up with this uh, idea mm -hmm. of again thinking when he was in that conference mm -hmm. to, to, to come up with, um, with the Father's Day as mm -hmm. well to celebrate uh, his father who had died during the Civil War at that mm -hmm. time. So, so Father's Day is as a result of Mother's Day. Yeah, it's so the good work that moms did when yeah. uh, fathers were in war defending the country. Yeah, true. Wow. That's the genesis. Knowledge only on why in the morning. <laughs> All right. So uh, do you think moms can ever replace that? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, if, 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 if a woman realizes that is, she is alone, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, she takes up the responsibilities mm -hmm. of a dad or a man. Mm -hmm. she, she becomes everything. All right. She's the provider, so she supports. The responsibilities are what define. It's what's it's key. not the sex. It's yeah. not the anatomy. That is key. The responsibilities. Responsibility. What do you think about this? 
Okay, I think that, uh, as I said earlier, a father has a pivotal role, mm -hmm. has pivotal roles in a family. Mm -hmm. For example, he definitely is the uh, the head of the family. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be there for the family emotionally, like to support the family. Mm -hmm. But when he's absent and the mom takes over, that is just I think that is just another level of heroism and mm -hmm. it yeah. just needs to be celebrated it needs to be celebrated yeah. but do you think there will be a deficiency in how this child is going to be raised is this child going to lack something i personally don't <gasps> think uh -huh. the child will lack something because just as a dad can can mold you into someone better mm -hmm. the mom can do better also Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just one and the same thing. It's just one and the same thing. Yeah. We st uh, all roads lead to the top of the tree, yeah. which is responsibility. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> generally, you grow as a person. Mm -hmm. So at some point in, li in, in life, mm -hmm. uh, everything that happens to you or your cho the choices you make depends on you. So it's not on your parents anymore. Mm -hmm. So you won't end up being astray mm -hmm. just because you didn't have a dad. Why? You grow as a person also. Yeah. Thank you very much for your insight. Uh -huh. Do you think moms can ever replace uh, what the dad brings to the table? Yeah, we have moms who are doing better than even the dads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they can do. Kuna so many moms outside uh -huh. there. They are doing. But they are giving some things you can only be taught by your father, man. No, in today's world, uh -huh. the same thing mom can tell you is the same thing dad. Wonderful. I yeah, back, back, uh, back, uh, back to differ with uh, the uh, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, there are some issues that uh, a father can tell you yes. in camera. Uh -huh. That is so strict that uh, your mom cannot be able to this uh -huh. you see. So that that deficiency still remains. It still I think remains. It still remains. I think yeah, because I think mm -hmm. it's according to the family mm -hmm. and the family relation. In our family, uh -huh. what my dad can tell me the same same thing. Mom can tell me this and this and this. Stop mm -hmm. doing this and this and this. It's about issue of nowadays people discuss relationship. I can discuss with my dad. I can discuss with my mom. All right, yeah. there's this. All right, all right. So I'm sorry. Uh, Personally, why I'm saying this, why I'm supporting what I'm saying is because I've grown up in a family where we're just three girls mm -hmm. and my dad sits us down and talks to us about anything. Mm -hmm. So I believe mm -hmm. a mom can do the same See? to the sons. All right. Uh, there's this notion that boys that are raised by their moms, wakunaka umama flani. These are not my words. It's just a stereotype. <laughs> You, you know, yeah, actually, it boils down to what you've said. Mm -hmm. It's a notion. It remains a notion. It remains a notion. Yeah, it's not proven. It's not proven. Yeah. But also, but also, what's caused that? Because when you are giving example, mm -hmm. if you are close to you, I'm close to you. When I'll be giving my example, I'll be drawing my example mm -hmm. from your teachings. So most of these guys that are raised by the single mothers, mm -hmm. they they like drawing their examples using their ma. Mm -hmm. their mom so these people think that maybe wakonaka ile kau mama because wame receive na mama but that's the person you have been close with uh -huh. through, throughout your life it doesn't so, make you any less of a human being thank you very much and uh, we appreciate the people who sent their feedback our way uh, we have something on facebook keep them coming i'd like to sample this because it relates to what we've been talking about so maybe you can uh, put, bring it up for me all right so uh huh uh, Liam has born and I said, I a sincere wholehearted dedication to my world's biggest star has born senior. The ugliness of death may have robbed me from him, but he still mm -hmm, robbed me from him. I'm, uh, as I'm so proud uh, to relish the memories. He led me uh, to being strong and splurged uh, in toughness. For that, I'm dearly thankful. You are missed, man. Soul rest in eternal peace. This is somebody who lost their dad, and we'd like to send our condolences to you. And uh, his soul is definitely going to rest, rest in peace. If he has, if he left people uh, who love him like this, if he impacted people like this, he's definitely going to rest in peace. Thank you very much for sending your feedback our way. Let's move on to the next topic, and uh, her. So, uh, uh, what are the roles of a dad for responsibilities? This is a big question. Uh, off the top, three. Role of a dad. Mm -hmm. a dad mm -hmm. It's just simple. It's according to your status. Five, the first thing, mm -hmm. financial status. Mm -hmm. Because you must expect a dad to do 
so big things, but maybe financial status mm -hmm. can't allow. Mm -hmm. All of her dad is just being there for the family. Mm -hmm. What's this thing of being there for the family? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't have a money, mm -hmm. but I have a kid somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just going and take that kid out. Mm -hmm. We go, we play with the kid. Uh -huh. Just kid feel. If you have don't have money, at least find time. Find some time for the kid. Mm -hmm. Just go out, play with the kid, talk to the kid. Let the mm -hmm. kid feel that there is someone. You know, these kids, even if you visit Gate, will, you will hear a kid, mutu wa kimchokoza na kuja kusema, nitambia baba. Like, that ka feeling, uh -huh. yeah, that's of what having somebody to somebody count on. behind, eh, somebody uh -huh. stronger behind. Uh -huh. It's even, very important. Yeah, yeah. So even if you don't have the money, even if you can't afford expensive things, that just, time is very important. Just be there. Yeah. All right. So that is something you find very important. Uh, starting to him, a role of a dad that you find very important. Okay. Uh, personally, I will find this role very important. Like you see, at times you're there and you're emotionally low. Like you feel like you've lost it all in maybe you're at some point in your life and you feel like you're giving up. I think a dad should step in and uh, and and ensure that you're you're back on your feet and you're continuing to believe in yourself. All right, thank you very much for the insight. Uh, the messages keep coming, and some of them are really are really funny, uh, but we can carry on. All right. Mm -hmm. I think, um, according to me, I'll just narrow down to three perspectives mm -hmm. that underlines the roles of a dad or a father. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this uh, goes down to, one, moral support, mm -hmm. two, financial support, mm -hmm. and three, emotional support. Emotional, moral, and financial. And financial. Those are the three, res three key responsibilities of mm -hmm. a dad. All right. Yeah, if, if, if he's able to perform those three, then we are able to move. All right, I haven't heard any one of you speak about teaching. Is, is it the role of a dad to teach us uh, the way of life? Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you have time for your family, mm -hmm. you will just teach them the way of life. All right. Because if you take without me out, even knowing, yeah, if uh -huh. you take you take me out, uh -huh. what we're really discussing, uh -huh. we're discussing this issue about life. You uh -huh. start telling me this and this is not good, and this is how you eat in a restaurant. This is the type of lady you should have. You will just find yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, bring such like conversation yeah mm -hmm. all right thank you very much all right so we have these kind of dads uh, talking about teaching eh? uh, the dad is uh yeah na chupa one side raha one side lakini akirudi nyumbani nisikuone ukifanya hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi what do you think about this? is this double standard and why should dads be doing this they do this but they tell the kids not to do it do you have a do you have a problem with this? Yeah, of course it's a problem mm -hmm. because you can't preach water water while you drink wine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, it's difficult, but mm -hmm. you know we are in a modern society mm -hmm. and people uh, people I, learn from different platforms. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. different platforms. Mm -hmm. There are some people who want to to, to take up their life mm -hmm. to levels. They feel like yeah, I have to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if for example someone has made money, mm -hmm. you can't stop him from going to drink. <laughs> Yeah. All right, but why tell the child you can't do this while you're doing it? Yeah, sometimes that is a big question. I'll be back to you. All right. <laughs> okay, person. As I said earlier, mm -hmm. like human beings, we are social animals. Mm -hmm. Like we grow from whatever we see around us, social limitation mm -hmm. that is. So a child, uh, it's it's a big challenge mm -hmm. for a child to like just see the father drunk every day and him telling the child don't do this mm -hmm. will be so challenging to the child because mm -hmm. he will he will feel like if my dad does this mm -hmm. why shouldn't i do it so but as future parents we should try so hard the things that we are going <laughs> to tell our kids not to do and we should not do them as well yeah we should not do them before them all right yeah. but, but you, even if you are doing them mm -hmm. you should explain to them why are you doing them there's because, the right time for uh, everything because for me my dad uh -huh. my dad always after drinking water he will come and uh -huh. start explaining to us, me, I'm drinking because I work hard. I manage I to go through money. school. I have my own money, but I have paid for you all school fees. They anybody, anybody lacking school fee or work what? Simply cooler. See everything is sorted. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so I can go and have time uh -huh. with friends. Uh -huh. We discuss the politics and, and wine. yeah. All right. So these are this is the list we came up with uh, with the team. So you'll tell me if you agree and if we have covered everything. So number one is provide. Yeah. The dad is a provider. Yeah. Number two is to protect. Number three is to prompt. To prompt uh, uh, means to, to encourage. 
uh, somebody to pursue their dreams and whatever they want to do. And number four is to promote. He promote ili leta shida ju niliambiwa kupropote ni kuchote ya kutuwa kakitu. But it's motivation. It's motivation. Yeah, I like that. Alright, it's the dad's role kutuwa kakitu from time to time. Alright, play mate. It's very important for a dad to play with the kids. Yeah. Do, that, do African dads do this? Yeah, some. Some, some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. All right. Are you guys going to do this when you become parents? Yeah. Definitely. All right. <laughs> punish is the last one. When when the child is wrong, it's the role of the dad to punish the child. Yeah, but but be, before 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 oh, a dad, dad maybe punishes the child, mm -hmm. it's high time for him to sit down with the kids, mm -hmm. tell him you know you've done this, it's mm -hmm. very wrong, uh -huh. you're not supposed to do this. Oh, yeah. So even if you 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 claim that uh, punishment, uh -huh. it, even the, the kid then, feels like you know. So the child needs to understand why he or she is being punished. First. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first thing. All right. Don't yeah. just say talk up and talk up and then, then just like yeah. All it's right. not good. Before, because uh, I'm a summarized Vizuri Sana, so when I have to swelling in it, we have those kinds of dads. Uh, when you attack it, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't Okay, so personally, <coughs> growing up, uh -huh. uh, my dad has made us. Okay, he has never punished me. Uh -huh. Kunichapa. Uh -huh. But dialogue works uh -huh. between me and my dad. Uh -huh. And he will not hide it from you. You're mm -hmm. wrong, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And don't cry. Don't try to pr to defend yourself. All right. Don't give excuses. <laughs> don't you're give wrong. excuses. If you're yeah. wrong, you need you're to wrong. accept it and apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll pose another one uh, to you. There's this notion that strict parents raise the worst liars. Yeah. Mm. Because you don't want them to open. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes, if you are so strict, mm -hmm. I might not tell you what I'm feeling. You know, mm -hmm. if you are not strict, I can't, I will show you my old character. Mm -hmm. Like, today, mm -hmm. yeah, my mm -hmm. mom will tell you that my mom, I think my mom knows all of my characters. Mm -hmm. Because we are open. We mm -hmm. can have that conversation. Mm -hmm. When I have a problem, even if I have a hidden problem, mm -hmm. this that you can't share with your mom. Mm -hmm. But I'll sneak and go and tell my mom, this and, I'm going through this and this and uh -huh. this. So being strict, Pierre, be strict with the limit. Uh -huh. Yeah, if a school thing, maybe. Uh -huh. But at a certain point, you might be strict. But uh -huh. this kid is suffering, even something going through something in the school, even mm -hmm. a teacher. But you don't want this kid to open to open up. If there's this conversation, what's the problem? What's mm -hmm. causing all this? The kid will tell you, Mom, this and this and this is not working. Otherwise, the child will turn out to be a very big liar. Yeah, like some of these. <laughs> so the last question before we sample some feedback is uh, two, two examples. What kind of gifts should we give our dads on days like Father's Day, Ama Birthday, Ama Christmas? I think that one first uh, depends with your financial ability mm -hmm. because there are those people who can be able to buy their fathers a car, mm -hmm. and there are those people who can be able to do what? Right. Yeah. So it depends on your pocket. It depends right. on your pocket. <laughs> I think the best gift is like to be to just be Good. like generally a, a role model to everyone out there mm -hmm. and to practice whatever he teaches. Practice whatever dad taught. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah just be be good to your dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be good to your dad. Be good Some, to your dad. And not, not, don't wait until Father's Day for you to appreciate your dad. Sometimes Thank just you call very your dad. much for coming <laughs> through in the morning. We appreciate you so much. So feedback, it's time for feedback. And we have somebody called Ken Anasema. My dad is a real friend uh, of the bottle, but he performs his duties perfectly. Like we are 11 kids in our family, but CEO, he only kazi poor and a big up dad. Uh -huh. He finds money to feed everybody like any bado. Uh, have a good time. Like he said, hi Barry, I'm Anne. Naomba serikali iweke pia siku ya kutusi ma deadbeat. Mm. Deadbeat father day. Alright, and hi Barry, my name is Jody and so my dad is my role model. He married eight wives. He always advises uh, me to double his achievements. So, guys, what am I going to be? Big up, Daddy. I promise you I'll double. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for sending your feedback our way. Thank you very much for tuning in to Y in the morning from 7 a.m. all the way till now. And thank you very much for coming through to Y in the morning. We appreciate you so much. Uh, so until tomorrow for Entrepreneurship Tuesday, I go by the name of Bayek Moses or It's Bayek Moon, every social media platform. Be good, be safe.